I really do hope it gets resolved. I hope, <sighs> I hope by the time this episode comes out, it's resolved because it's, uh, it is really, so. really sad to it's watch. It's hard. I, yeah, I, my heart goes out to the, it's so, it's like, I, oh, I you know. know, I've been so upset about I know, this story. I, know. I don't like it it's at too... all. You quit being a knucklehead, Poutine. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, you goofball. <laughs> Let people play outside. Goofy guy. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Guess what I did last night? I laid on my sattva mattress my solaire and i mm, i put the the head up i put the feet up and i turn on the vibrations bzzz, and i watch my favorite uh, teen shows and i love it it's just it's heaven it relaxes me and it gets me ready for the best night of sleep ever i love my sattva mattresses i have the lumen leaf uh, we have the luxury firm king size and now the solaire i sleep on every night you really can't ask for better quality for the best prices why they don't have stores they don't have physical stores they don't have to pay salespeople. it's just so easy you order it online they contact you boom set up delivery and i promise you people ask me all the time christina is it true do you really love Safa? yes i ordered their mattress about a decade ago and i called them to to have them sponsor the show that's how much i love them so go to sofa.com slash the shit for 200 dollars off your next mattress sofa.com slash the shit here we are. <laughs> Welcome. That was so nice. Thank you for doing it. Your mom's house podcast. I want to laugh. Oh, me too. Hopefully, we get we get some good laughs. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I want to laugh really hard. Um, we have a lot of good stuff to get. So into many good things to get into. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of cool things going on in the world, and it's fine. What are you talking about? Everything's great, and. Um, <laughs> It's only World War Three. It's not a big deal, guys. Also, just to address it, just get it out of the way. Uh, uh, I'm fucking, you know, I know I said okay. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the, contra- the controversy between you and Here, Charo. Here's the thing, though. And the bet. Some people, we'll call them the intelligent people. Yeah. Understood. Traitors. That the, yeah. no, we understand that, like, that they understood that the okay was uh okay you're fucking out of your, like, yeah it's an acknowledgement that you're saying crazy shit again yes and then other people are like yeah but you said okay no as if it were affirmation of the bet which is like it's such nonsense she's getting the fucking not only is she getting money i just talked to her on the way in today and i'm getting her a car what yeah yeah what a car a car yeah okay i you know but 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 to your point, Joanna, yeah. you know it, it is it is tonal. It's a t- okay. It's uh, not I mean, it's, okay. And to the people, shake. the people who, who don't understand. Yeah, so fucking stupid. The huh? ones who actually literally don't understand what is happening. Yeah. In, in that uh, in that exchange, who go like, no, no, you you're saying okay. I I really wonder what your everyday life is like because. Yeah. I mean, it's so clearly. Her going, this is the bet, and me going, okay. Which is like, here you go again. Like the fact that they don't go, there's there's different intentions and tones for the use of and the, and that's lost on them. They're like, no, you said it. I'm like, oh, those are our, our dumbest. Those people. are our R-worded listeners. And also, they probably gaslight their spouses as well. They're probably they're gaslighting Charles logic on mm-hmm. accident. They're too dumb. Yeah. To know what's actually happening. Yeah. Like those are the dumbest people. Oh, I know. Yeah. I don't read comments for that reason because it's it just like you realize, you know, Dr. Drew put it, explained it to me one time that, are you listening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just this is my whole life with, um, are you listening? How many times a day do I ask you if you're listening? <laughs> Did you hear that? I hear it all the time though. I know. Oh, from not just for me. No, no, I hear what you're saying every time. Oh, okay. But the way that Dr. Drew explained it, Tommy, is that there's an IQ and then there's an average, right? Yeah. So in the middle is the average. So you have the middle and then all those motherfuckers. Yeah, below And it. that's a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot. And then the above average. It's the ones it's who a said, little you earth. said yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stupid. So dumb. So dumb. Yeah, the dumbest. And the yeah. stupidest and the fucking... Um, okay. Yeah. Anyway, she's getting a car. I what? Uh, like what kind? 
I don't even want to get it. Lamborghini. Into it. No, but it's fucking Okay. It's pretty nice. Even if you think it's I should It's not a Civic. It's not a Civic? No. No, she won't go for a Civic. She no, she'll like, tell you. This is my mom's move. She goes, What car is that? To to whoever's yeah, pulling up I, in there, and, oh, and they no. go, Oh, it's a Honda Civic. She goes, This is really cool. I like it. And then they go, Do you want one? And she's like, mm. I like Lexus. Yeah. Okay. No, she's out of her marbles with that stuff. Okay. All right, cool. I don't want to yeah. talk about it. It's going to make me mad again. I know, I know, I know. I feel like I have to start drinking already. It's so funny how, like, yeah, she has that, I get that way. Where I'm like, should I start drinking now to deal with this? So much. Um, should we open the show? Uh, let's open the show. Let's start the show. Ah. Hey, hey. Here you go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. And you're right, Any. Hot sauce is the best. Welcome to your mom's house. Oh, shit! <laughs> I can't believe you. I can't believe. How far? <laughs> Holy shit, Jane. <laughs> Amazing. Woo! Woo! Hot sauce is the best. Uh, <laughs> I just want to know what I did to you. I just want to know, like, what? How did I? How did I wrong you? you Dude, know? you got <laughs> Sean Evans from Hot Ones yeah. giving you a shout out. Yeah, yeah. that's fucking great. Wait till it's you gotta see feel what's, good. Wait till you see what's next. Oh this is just. <laughs> Why? Why? What, what gives you such joy? I didn't even say it to you. I, fucking, I hate you. Man. Why do you like people? Oh my god! Like seeing people hurt so bad. Wait, let's You're hear any. Me, Tom. Let's hear any say it again. No, I refuse. I also, he also gave Wait, me. A, can you play the drop again? I need to hear any saying it. Oh yeah. So yeah, I know yeah. we're. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The hot sauce is the best. <laughs> There's a, he gave me another version. Hot sauce is the best. With a, a little ding here on the end. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh, uh, Sean Evans, what a good announcer. He did such a great job He's with this. He's fantastic. Yeah. You're right, Annie. Um, You're right? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. And you're right, Annie. Hot sauce is the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. I can't wow. believe it. <laughs> I thought you were going to Photoshop some shit and have it just kind of in there. <laughs> he literally did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, this is the other one. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First Week Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. And you're right, Any. Hot sauce is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. That's so good. Gosh. Wow. Thank you, Sean Evans. Yeah, for Sean. So great. Getting in on the joke. A lot of uh, Instagram memes made about yeah. any. He's on the, he's as, as the Cholula lady. Yep. On the thing of hot sauce. People really are getting into this. Yeah. and It's uh, a worldwide craze. Oh, yeah. And the uh, uh, all the Garth comments <laughs> are like all about hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> You know, usually you have Thank like God. A, you have like an inside joke for like a couple shows. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm like, oh, this will pass. Yeah. Nah. Oh, it'll pass. It'll pass. It will pass. But it, it'll be like 2024. <laughs> yeah. pass. All right, let's see. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yeah. It's the best. Is he down? That's where it spits <laughs> different. <laughs> God damn. He say he a comedian. <laughs> He's coming up in May. Oh yeah. It's not that that big. Man. Well, I mean, people are <laughs> just so excited that Leo is back. 
he he went away. Like the hot sauce thing will go away and then it'll come back. Yeah. But, but Leo. Wait, sorry, sidebar. You yeah. know, Annie does say that a lot. It's the best. It's oh, the yeah, best. it's the best. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if somebody were to put together a compilation oh. of, of oh. any saying, oh, saying something's the best, something's the best yeah. I, yeah. not to say that just might be a fun thing to do. Yeah. If anybody out there, has I mean, the they time. would have to go through a number of episodes and, and really flag. What's the best? He, he does it a lot on where yeah. my mom's at too. So, and then maybe the, as a tag to the video, they could put <laughs> any. He's the best, you know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We just, love you, Annie. Just throwing out there, yeah. You know, I, I I save parking spots for you, man. Dude, I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Very much. I opened my house to y'all. You, <laughs> we love you. I didn't have a place to sleep one night. Hey, man. The live show. I yeah, you guys <laughs> love you. We love you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> it hurts. No, it doesn't. It does not. He loves it. Also, you know, the YMH family is now officially back together again. Baby Zolo is now in Tejas. Hey, he's, Baby Zolo's he's here. He's here. He graduated from college. Yeah. I am a fucking jewel. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yay. Now there's two of you in Austin. Yup. Um, <laughs> how's it feel to be in Texas? Feels great. I love it here. It was time to get out of L.A., I thought, for sure. Um, yeah, feels good to be back with the team. You stayed a while after us. Um, was it, like, so lame with all your the coolest people in L.A. gone? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really missed all you guys. Yeah, we missed you, too. Now, Baby Zolo, you were in a fraternity. Did you ever get to join your frat brothers and party in person? I did. Yeah, Got yeah. It. Yeah, I mean, we, we kept doing that stuff low-key, kind of through COVID and stuff. <laughs> yeah, good for yeah. you. Did you guys yeah. do keg Frat stands? Boys. Did you beat up nerds? What did you do? All of the above. Yeah. Oh, we, we had a really good time. Yeah. Let good. me see all that dump. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's what frat guys do. Is that what you... <laughs> yeah. Is that what they do? Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> they make each other... It's hard till I'm ready to throw <laughs> Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Well, yeah. we're super pumped to have you. It didn't feel right without you here. I know, I and missed you guys. I missed you so much. I'm so glad you're here. You look great. You, you lost some weight. I did, yeah. Yeah, you, you got skinny, maybe you grew. How'd you know. do it, Zolo? A lot of working out, a lot of eating better. You, you did? Know? You cleaned up your diet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Smart guy. Thank to do, you. To do it at 21. I know. Yeah, I realize, I mean, you, you when you see it catching up to you, you kind of realize, like, hey, let's make this change early. Right? Oh, I saw it catching up, and I was like, well, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm growing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but I remember Zolo could eat copious amounts Crazy. of food. He and Nadav were kind of head to head for a minute <laughs> there with those lafas. Remember when yeah. he would get the baby sized lafa? And Zolo, you were in the lead. So, mm. have you cut back? Uh, I tried to cut back a little bit. You always encouraged me so I much. Did. I feel like <laughs> you might be kind of to blame. You're like, Zolo, <laughs> eat more. How much can you eat? How much can you eat? And then it's like, oh, wait, I gained 20 pounds. Yeah. Maybe let's scale back on that. Yeah, it was a pandemic. Because all of us but <laughs> any have a slow metabolism. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. And he's like, I'll have seven cheeseburgers today. Yeah. yeah, and one sitting. And he never shits. So, like, I miss a dump one day, and I can see it. Like, I'm bloated. I don't feel good. And I don't know where he hides all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, anyway, welcome back. We're welcome. super Thank pumped you. to have you, buddy. Thank you so much. It's, I'm we glad you're here, you. Zolo. We love you. 100% culture. <laughs> so sorry, to inter I interrupted you, though. You were you were going about Leo. Yeah. So, you know, he kind of snuck into my mind like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I really wanted to revisit him. I got so excited. Yeah. When I revisited him. Then we had Jeff Tate on, and he got to discover him the, for the first time, which was such a joy. Right. It's like seeing the world through your your child's eyes. Yes, it really is. And then yeah. I got, it reminded me that like when it came out, I started to see comments from people who were like, yeah, I'm going to have to tap out of this one. And I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, just can't watch this old guy jerk off for a whole episode. What? And I'm like, why not? Yeah. Are you even a mommy? Well, I mean, you like, call yourself a YMH fan. Then they're like, "Is this what you call comedy?" And I'm yeah. like, "Uh, yeah. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So I guess I'd call it comedy." Yeah, I mean, I've rewatched it this morning, so and funny. I was laughing so hard. Me too. I, I couldn't do. I couldn't continue my elliptical. It was so, ugh, 
So it was great. so funny. It was great. That's so gay. That's it so was. Gay. But it was so, so My funny. favorite part is when he goes, I had oriental warts. Oh, yeah. They, Jeff's like, they, they don't call it that. Because <laughs> he says they call it. They say I have <laughs> oriental warts. Like, no, they That's don't. not what they say. That's uh, <laughs> not what the doctors say, for no. sure. But maybe in the 50s or something they did. Yeah, know. back in the day. Um, so, you know, I feel like we can't go on unless we address what what's happening with that knucklehead poutine oh yeah vlad he's being yeah. a real pain in the neck yeah he's been goofing around for a while out there <laughs> and he did some really rascally stuff really rascally stuff yeah yeah oh i mean my gosh i would go as far as to say that he's a uh, a bad neighbor <laughs> <laughs> yeah He's a troubling character, sort of. Yeah. yeah, and he's been doing this for a minute, and everybody warns you about him, but then, you know, now you see it, and you're like, you know what? Bad guy. Bad guy. Also, what's Steven Seagal doing in all of this? I don't know. People, you know, there was that, um, like a meme, like a, a screen grab going on about a CNN article mm-hmm. that said he's on the front lines. It turns out it's it's parody. It's not. I true. like that CNN reported it. Like they didn't even check. No, no, they didn't. I'm saying that it's it's all made up. Like it's a made up. Oh, that CNN. Okay, know. it was made yeah. up. That no, Steven Seagal yeah, is not yeah, fighting yeah. with Russian yeah. special forces. Yeah. But he is pro Russia. He loves uh, Putin. He loves Putin. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw a comment that said that you know he hopes that there there can be a peaceful resolution but i don't know um wow. i'm surprised that he didn't just go like yeah 100 percent. we should be fucking bombing the shit out of them i know i mean so, <laughs> i know even when steven seagal goes against his favorite leader yeah you know talking about america's best actor and the best actor and then this great world leader and the bros yeah, yeah broskies God. what do you think about hitler well <laughs> He was also a goofy guy. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many great stories that are coming out um, from Ukrainian fighters. You yeah. Know, women, women on the front lines being like, you want your son, your Russian son, have your mom come and get him. It's so fucking badass. So what happens when mom shows up? Will they give him away, you think? Yeah. Yeah. The Ukrainians are being pretty, from what I've, the stories I've seen, civilized. You yeah. Know? It's crazy <sighs> that, that we're seeing it get bombed. I know. It's really insane. It's devastating. Yeah. It's so crazy because my parents went through the exact same storyline. And it's a it's like, full oh, on we're doing this again. Invasion. I mean, full it's on. A, it's a, an attack. That's what these knuckleheads do, these Ruskies. They yeah. come in, they destroy, and then everyone speaks Russian. That's what they do. They take away all your stuff, and then I they know. replace it with their shitty food. <sighs> it's a I nightmare. So my it parents would be escaped. completely inexcusable if... Russian women weren't so hot, though, you know? Like This those, is true. Fuck. I know. There's a reason they make the best porn, right? These oh. Ruskies. God, if I were a citizen, I'd be like, get out, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Perfect so terrible. Face and what your, a knucklehead. Yeah. Did you hear that this Texan uh, joined? Yeah, I heard about this. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't Can seen I see it this? yet either. Let's see it. Stand up. Very cool. What very news, cool guy. What news source is he watching? Um, like, is this the Kremlin's state-run news? media? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, has he been living? I mean, that's in what's a... broadcast in Russia. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah. I mean, but usually you hear this out of older Russians, people yeah. who remember the Soviet Union, and they're like, "Well, yeah, Ukraine belonged to us." Well, I think it's pretty clear what happened here. This guy killed it in America. Crushed and was it. Like, I wonder if I can conquer another continent. You know what I mean? So he was like, North America. I won that battle, <laughs> yeah. so let's go see where he's else on, I can. He's on the right side of history. I mean, he looks ve- very good. Very good. A lot, lot of, sh- he's in shape. <laughs> yeah. The whole outfit is really working. The mm-hmm. scarf thing mm-hmm. and the the strap over the, it's the hat, the hair. It's fucking solid. Well, this looks he, like he could be Leo. 
He could be Leo. Yeah. And it's good that he's prepared for that harsh Ukrainian winter. And yeah. That he's got a sweater and the leather jacket. Nice leather jacket. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to that's gonna keep you warm. Solid. Minus yeah. five Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Got your cool Ukraine. leather on. <laughs> <laughs> and the hat, too. He looks. Yeah. He, he's dressed like a Russian newspaper boy with that yeah. stupid fucking hat we're on. Get out there and we're going to drop a hammer on him. Okay. Okay. This guy has been misinformed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's get ready right, bring the hammer down. <laughs> what a fucking weird out. I feel like he has to say this in, a, in order to like keep living there. Like they're like, you're allowed to live as long as you keep <laughs> saying this nonsense. Pump out this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what if someone like explained it to him? He's like, what? Oh shit. You yeah. know, like there's a what? <laughs> you're on the wrong side. Bro. Now you know what the thing is people do now though? If you tell them something that is a truth they don't like, they go, that's made up. Yeah, fake news. Nah, you're just, you're watching mainstream shit. It ain't, it ain't <laughs> like that. Like, well, Poutine doesn't listen to the internets. Right. He only gets information from his inside circle, which is probably really good, right? That's like all our news coming from these guys. <laughs> and we took the quiz. We know there's only one or two that <laughs> should be telling us stuff. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I knew he liked that comment. Yeah. It's like how happy I just made him by saying that. Yeah. Right, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Fully retarded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you were pointing at me. Yes, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm a piece of shit. Oh, well. <laughs> so. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, yeah, um. You know, I I really do hope it gets resolved. I hope I hope by the time this episode comes out, it's resolved because it's uh, I it is really so. really sad. To it's watch. hard. I, yeah, I my heart goes out to the. It's so it's like I, you I know. know, I've been so upset about. I know, this I story. know. I don't like it it's at too... all. You quit being a knucklehead, Poutine. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, you goofball. <laughs> Let people play outside. Goofy guy. Yeah, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Online therapy, relationships take work. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well. But how often do we do the same things for ourselves? How do I, I don't give myself the same treatment? But this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. Let me tell you, I've been doing the therapy for a decade. It has changed my life for the better. I can't even fathom a life um, without therapy. It's just so helpful. BetterHelp is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and your mom's house listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash YMH. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash YMH. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Bombas. Bombas' mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bombas, you are also giving to someone in need. How amazing is that? That a company is choosing to actually give back to the people. And this is high quality stuff. I mean, the socks, that's what I started with. The socks feel like custom made socks, incredibly soft shirts. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy layers. There's a pair of Bomba socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options like comfy performance styles for every sport and activity that keeps you moving. Go to bombas.com slash mom and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash mom for 20% off. Bombas.com slash mom. Um, here, let's do something that's uh, completely different from this, okay? You'll like this. Are you ready? Yeah. This is going to make you laugh. Okay. Promise. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Come on. Get back in there. Oh, this is going to be wet and I'm going to have a mess. Oh. Oh. Bring anyone coming? Oh. 
He's got a shit. Oh, I thought it was something else. Come or shit. my pants right at the doorstep. I know it. I've done that. Who hasn't had this? Who has not had, who hasn't lived this exact moment? Every, that's, that's very it's relatable. It's the fucking worst. It's the worst. And she's enjoying it so much, <laughs> right? And then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Oh, I just shit. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. It's coming down my leg. Free! Free! Well, I don't want to get out of this. Wait, we might have to do a rain check. Oh. That's bad. Oh. That happened to me. Do you remember in Santa Barbara, like in 2007 or something, we were just dating uh -huh. and we were driving around Santa Barbara. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. Looking at houses and stuff. Yeah. And I go, babe, I got to take a dump. And you're like, okay, la, la, la. And then you're like, oh, look at that. I think that's Oprah's house or whatever. And I'm like, babe, I have to go. Kaka, you got to pull over. And you're yeah, like, I was like, I will take you to shit when we're done doing this. Yeah. yeah like but the, the time is now. <laughs> yeah, but because but I, I understood, I have to shit as like it's something I'd like to do in the next couple hours, which is so crazy to me. Yeah, because when I have to shit, I have to shit now. Like that's yeah, that's me. I that guy. Like, I uh -oh. thought because I was like, oh, I could shit, and then you just like you know, sometimes I could be like, I could shit, and I'll do it later. That's so fucking crazy to I me. Know, I know. So the other day, I hope you don't mind us, me sharing the story about you. Yeah. But we were we went on an overnight romantic getaway to Fredericksburg. Are you listening to me? I am. And <laughs> anyway, we we're at there and we we're in there in the bed in our lovely little cabin. Mm -hmm. And I heard your guts gurgling a little. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, yeah. I a and you I did. asked you. You did ask. I asked him, I said, Do you have to go poopy? You did. And what did you say? I said no. You lied. Yeah. And then we made sweet marital love. Uh, yeah. And then, what's the, uh, <laughs> as I recall, something very magical happened for you that day. I uh, I don't you remember. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it sweet marital love. It was sweet marital love. Okay, okay. Any hoodles. I want to lick them draws. Mm -hmm. Anyway, after we finished making marital love, you uh, a second later, you're like, I got to take a shit now. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. You lied to me. Yes. I lied to you because I realized that what was on the table, the offer. Right. And then I was like, oh, I can suppress the shit and then just shit after this. Which is amazing to me because if I have to shit, I can't fuck. But you, when you have to shit, you still fuck. Yeah. I don't think this is universal. Gentlemen, i It like depends to on, how, like, hold on. You have to be fair to the scale. Sure, let's go. To the scale of, how bad do you have to yeah, shit? Yeah, okay, let's talk about how bad you had to shit. For me, it, w it wasn't like, oh my God, I have, I, there's, there's, I have to shit now. Like that guy. Right, that, he, you that. Couldn't, you couldn't no, fuck if you had no, to shit no, like that. No, 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 no. Okay. And, and then there's a, there's a degree below that that you still can't fuck. So let's say on a scale of one to 10, that's 10. That's oh my 10. God, I have to shit. There's yeah. no way I can fuck. And I couldn't fuck at 10, nine, or eight. That's, but I think I might be able to do a seven. <laughs> I think I could do a seven. You can still fuck before shitting at a seven. I think so. Seven would make me go, should I shit right now? And then, and I'll be, and I might, I might take the shit. I might be like, yeah, just go for it and shower and, you know. But I also might be like, you know, I think I can suppress this just for this, this nut. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. I'm really, I'm really yeah. amazed at your ability. Thank you. But you don't feel the need to shit while you're fucking. No, that once you, if you sign up for it, you tell the body we're doing this instead. <laughs> it does shut it down. 
It, sh- it doesn't shut it down for that long, but it shuts it down for the time that you're the doing The duration it. that yeah. you need to nut. The body prioritizes yeah. Yeah. needs. Yeah. So, gentlemen in the booth, Nadav, can you suppress your need to shit for your need to fuck? Um, like, like Tom said, eight, nine, or ten, definitely not. I mean, seven, I can't. Like, I would probably just end things early if I needed to shit before we. I'd just be like, I'm not feeling well. I think you should go home. So you're saying no? You you could not suppress your need to shit no, no, in order I don't to think fuck. So no, I because I, I I mean I can't either. I'd hate to shit during fucking. That's, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like that's in. very unlikely. If it's <laughs> If it's like a four or a five kind of flag inside, you're like, oh, I'm not going to shit myself. If I had like a seven, it it's would occur to me. I would be like, ooh, I could maybe shit during this. So sorry, where were you at in Fredericksburg? You were at a what number? Oh, like. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at him reminiscing. Like a five. You were at a five. Yeah, five were like, if I had walked to the toilet and sat down, I would have shit. Wow. <laughs> Right, but it wasn't like it wasn't like hey 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 go 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 go. So it wasn't painful. No, and then you were like, then I wanted I didn't want to be like all right I'll go shit now and then you'll be like you know what you you didn't Maybe want to later. risk delay yeah right a bird in the hand like yeah. you had the you had my bird in your hand and you were like don't you dare don't you dare. now you don't think that I would have let you shit yeah you would have but I would I, I, I wait a minute I just would have been I just was like this is the priority right now yeah. Uh, any other boys in the booth would like to give their... We know Annie doesn't really brown that often, so I'm assuming fucking is a priority over shitting. Um, just, seven just, sounds like a reasonable level of of having to uh, suppress. Yeah. Seven. So it, it... Wow. Seven's kind of the max, though, right? I mean... Seven's about the max. Yeah. <laughs> this is fascinating. Guys, write in. Let me know. I feel like this is a hot topic. I, I mean, Nadav, you and I are on the same page here. Yeah, I know, can't fathom having to shit and I, fuck at the same time. As surprising as it, as it, as it is to hear, I try and avoid embarrassment at all costs. Same. <laughs> or just the I don't I don't feel sexual if I have to shit. Yeah, I mean, I still wow. regret. Maybe this is why I still regret to this day. <sighs> <laughs> I was a sophomore in college. Uh oh. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh oh. And this girl, uh, <sighs> Mary. Fuck. Mary, Mary. She was like kind of. I uh, hate Marys, by the way. Really? I got a lot of bad Marys in my life. She was kind of a hippie ish, um, yeah, smelly, you know, free spirit type. Mm. Smoked weed, where the, you know, the, the cut off, like the crop top. With the, you know what I mean? That look like, like like the hippie girl kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I don't remember having patchouli. That's the smell of dirty pussy. It is. I don't. I don't like patchouli. Um, it's disgusting. Birkenstocks. No, no. But you know, like multiple rings, like just like yeah. a, a free spirit type. Mm-hmm. And we were flirting and stuff, and and then one night she's like, "Come over," right? We had we had kissed on a, on a previous night. And she's like, come over. Yeah. And I'm like, I go, uh, I can't. I think, I, no, I think maybe I go over and then I go, I got to go back. I have to uh, study for this test in the morning, which was bullshit. I had like a nine inside mm-hmm. of me. And I went back and I shit so violently that my sweet mates, like not my roommates, the guys <laughs> on the other side, they go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and it was just like a black yeah. pool of death. And it was a fucking disaster. And she was like, you don't want to come over. I was like, oh, I got this test. I got to yeah. study. Because I didn't want to, you know, be embarrassed and have that happen. And then it fucking didn't happen again. Oh, no. You know, it ruined it. And so... Now, I think I go like suppress that shit, get that nut. Mm-hmm. That's what's important. Lesson you know? learned. Yeah. You learn the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'll make you come. Also, I'd like to tell Bert officially please never use the women's bathroom again. Here. Yeah. It was so fucking funny. He said he only is going to use it. No, no, no. He's not allowed to use it. He's for, for Well, bidding. how are you going to enforce that? 
Uh, you guys have forced it. Have someone standing out we there. We could put a lock on it. You could put it's a lock so on it. It's so disgusting. There's shit caked on the back of the bowl. It was really gross. Yeah, I've looked. never seen it that bad. Even your caca marks are, I mean, he literally has like a whole turd caked on there. We have different diets. Definitely. Yeah, he was drinking quite a bit. Ugh, I can't believe Leanne has to deal with that. We started at 7.30 in the morning. He was drinking quite a bit. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yep. Well, yeah. now I understand your story. You know, it's like when you know somebody's reasons, you have more empathy for them. Yeah. You know, now I see Tom. I get oh, Mary. You. You know what I learned about Mary, too? She's a fucking cunt. Uh, this happened to me twice with these uh, these hoes. Um, I learned, because I was really bummed out about that not happening again. You know, I liked yeah. her. She uh, she was pregnant with a kid like a year later. Oh. Also happened with a, a friend of one of my sisters that I was messing around with. Uh-oh. That I, we didn't go all the way, and then and I would have. And then, uh, like a year later, she's pregnant. And this is like Dang. when I was like twenty, you know. That could have been your nut. Could have been me. That yeah. hoe over there. Yeah. Now, when you were twenty, were you using condoms? Uh, yes and no. That's no. No, I I would, I would always think like you gotta use a condom, and then anytime a girl was like, you don't have to use yeah. a condom, then you're like, oh, okay. Of course. I would just tell the guys, you don't need to worry about it. Yeah. I don't care. Just blow loads inside of it. That's, those were the best. The best. Those chicks who were like, you're like, I'm going to pull out. And then they're like, just go inside. And you're like, ah! Ah! <laughs> God, I want to die when you say stuff like that. Uh, Your face is terrible when you just stop. God, that's what you think you look like? You look worse. Trust me. That's flattering for what you look like. That's flattering? What do I look like? I'm not going to tell you. Tell me. You don't want to know. I want to know. It's bad. I want to know. No. You fucking retard. Is that what I look like? You look like a fucking retard. Really? Do I? Yeah, it's more like that. Really? (laughs) (laughs) Really? (laughs) That's what I look like? Yeah, you don't know you do that? No. No. I don't want to talk about your cum face. In Why? Because it's private. It's my, you're my <sighs> cum face. Okay. You just said it looks fully R-worded. Yeah, everybody looks R-worded when they block. Ugh. <laughs> That's not flattering. No. No, it's usually not. No. No. Yeah. No. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Look like a rabbit. Ew. That's more like it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's more what you look like. That's your sneeze face. That's your, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. There you go. It's horrible. Oh, my God. That looks terrible. <laughs> oh, God. I don't like it. I don't want it. Okay. Yeah. Please. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Sh- Bert took a fucking gnarly dump. He's nasty. In my toilet. Yeah, he's nasty. He's I don't a like very that. Nasty guy. This is why I had a women's bathroom separate from you animals, so that I don't have to deal with you guys pooping anymore. Yeah. In my area, you know how gnarly it was in the old studio. I would go in after all of you took dumps. It was horrible, especially after lunchtime when everybody took their after lunch dumps. Yeah. I mean, not any obviously, but. It, Disgusting. That's true. It's gross. Dudes using the same bathroom as a dude is the worst. We would all shit in that one. In I know. L.A. That was gnarly. It was so gross. And then who? Somebody was like, "I can tell who shit there." Or was Nadav. It, I was Nadav. He was like, "Oh, I know everybody's shit pattern." Yeah, I mean, when you said that Bert shit in your in your toilet, I was just like, "Oh, is there some under the seat?" Yeah. Yeah, there is. Fully. That's go look shits. in there. It's fully smeared. I don't need smeared. to. I don't shits. <laughs> it's who, literally what are the, smeared. What are the shit patterns? Uh, so, so Tom gets under the seat a little bit. Yes. Bert gets under the seat a lot. A lot. Uh, and he doesn't do anything. Uh, Chris, uh, it comes out fast. So, yeah. there, so there's, uh, skid marks like right at the bottom. Skids at the bottom. 
Oh, okay. Like right at the bottom of it, but it cleans out fast. That's healthy. I think that's like mm-hmm. healthy. Yeah. Uh, me, you don't really see a sign from me. Uh, and then I don't know how Chad shits. Uh, who else? Zolo. I don't think I know how Zolo shits either. But I think really? all Jays probably shit alike. <laughs> that's okay. Silly. So you think he shits like you? Yeah, you know, tomato, tomato. Sure. That's silly. That's all so all Jays shit alike. That is just silly. This episode is brought to you by Theragun. Don't let the stress of daily life weigh on your body. Whether you're an elite athlete like me, or you're just a regular person like you, trying to make it through the day tension-free, Theragun can help. Theragun is the handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power, and it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. The Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good, it gets to the source of the pain by releasing tension using Theragun's signature percussive therapy, which goes 60% deeper than vibration alone. I have to say, I just had a Theragun session at home. My wife and my kids each took their turn putting this thing on my neck and my shoulders and traps. It sends you, for, for me, into a state of euphoria that I, I basically cannot describe. It was absolutely incredible to just just fall out. I was in another planet. Theragun is trusted by 250 professional sports teams like Real Madrid and elite athletes like Paul George, DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins, Maria Sharapova, and me. Try Theragun for 30 days starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash mom right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's T-H-E-R-A-B-O-D-Y dot com slash mom. Therabody dot com slash mom. Um, so you remember, uh, obviously you remember this, right? Is he down? Oh my God, I love Hunter. Is he down? Yeah. Did you see him go down? <laughs> uh, so that is uh, Luke Bryant. Um, he's Greatest a, teeth. He's a famous country singer. I know, we're such dopes, we didn't even oh, know Oh, it's Luke that. Bryan. I thought it was Bryant. Um, Anyway, I, I didn't know how Hunter immensely famous this guy is. Yeah. Uh, it says it's a follow-up, so I don't know. What? I don't know. That's what it says here. Let's let's see. <gasps> is he down? <gasps> oh. oh Smoked. Smoked, baby. Oh, my God. He's hammered. He's hammered, right? He's hammered. This dude. Wow. Fully nuts. Fully nuts. When he shoots shit. Yeah. When he kills an animal, he he that's his cum face. Yeah. We just saw it. You don't have to ask his wife. I feel like you should try hunting because you're, you know, you always talk about wanting to hurt things and kill stuff. I think killing stuff might do this for you. I got to tell you, though, I'd rather do it to a person than an animal. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. I mean, that deer was super cute. Yeah. <laughs> I felt bad for the deer. I would rather bash somebody's hand with a hammer than shoot a deer. But don't you think there is a population of people you should be allowed to murder? Like, yes. Like, well, who, do, who goes in there? Come on. I know. We already know. We're going to get flagged. Oh. No. What? You know. Let's, um. I'm not sure I do, but. But, like, they're just sucky people that you should be able to kill. Of course. What, like, pedos? Pedophiles should definitely. Yeah. That should be free reign. You can just. Is it free reign or free range? Free reign. Free reign? Free reign. To yeah. do it as you please? Yeah. <laughs> You should just be able to hunt those down. You should be able to. Yeah. Pedophiles, that should be open season. Anytime. Like, yeah. if this guy could just hunt pedophiles. That just happened to be fucking so Cain Velasquez. What? The UFC fighter just got a- arrested for attempted murder. Because somebody of, of, you know, all these things are sound terrible to say. But if the worst thing you could probably do is fuck with a killer's child. And somebody like uh, the story is, and and probably by the time this comes out, it might be further along yeah. that somebody molested. Oh boy, 
his daughter. His nope. Four, and uh, he shot him. I would too. Or went to shoot him. And um, yeah, I got arrested. And everybody's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. I where done where that. is he being tried? Where did he get arrested? Do you know? Can you pull that up? Um, did he get arrested here in Texas? Or where's the court case? Because if it happened in Texas, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, yep, that's fine. See you later. Where is he? Oh, Dang. in Bay Area. Ooh, that's, oh, that's not good where luck. you want to get arrested. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah. Can you imagine fucking with that guy's kid? Why would you? You fucking insane? Fucking A. Well, fuck. Good for him. I saw him fight in person one time and knock somebody out. I forget who he knocked out. Maybe Junior Dos Santos yeah, or something. He, he's terrifying. Yeah, look at that face. He's, a, he's like a heavyweight champ. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he was a NCAA champ wrestler and then a ufc heavyweight champ scary dude <sighs> what is it uh, make it bigger there um non life throat so the guy's gonna live uh, i'm trying to see if there's anything here that i didn't know about um keep going yeah there's not really a lot in here right in this story he's from yeah. salinas yeah and you train is there any like uh if you if you put cain oh velasquez news is there anything like up to the minute like is there anything current for like right now um uh, one day ago 19 hours ago yeah because uh i think i saw a uh a dana white reaction um and he was like, oh, I think we all would have done that, too. Yeah. So. Oh, wait. Scroll down to the post one. Oh, yeah. Cain Velas attempted to shoot me accused of molesting his relative. Okay, so maybe it wasn't his daughter. Is it? Is it somebody else? Fuck. He looks totally at peace in that fucking mugshot. He's like. Yeah. <laughs> I made a good decision. Yeah. I don't blame him. Yeah. One of his close relatives. Jesus Christ. Chose, okay, aiming to shoot Harry Eugene Galarte when he opened fire in a car occupied by Galarte and two others. The bullet allegedly struck Galarte's stepfather. Oh, instead. oh, so he ended up hitting the wrong. That's what I heard. Okay. Of a lewd back to under age 14. Okay, so he had been arraigned Friday on a felony count of basically assaulting a, a minor. And Galarte's accuser is a relative of Velasquez. Jesus Christ. Uh, the child was abused by Galarte at his mother's daycare center. See these fucking... Uh, so he was going to his mom's place as like his breeding ground. Mm -mm. He was granted supervised release despite objections from the prosecutors. Yeah. And then imagine that guy on the left there coming at you. Yeah. Like... Should I think if this happened in Texas, they'd give him a Medal of Honor. I, w <laughs> I know. I wish he had not <laughs> shot him and just fucking pummeled him. Sames. You know, it's the use of the weapon that probably will. Yeah, imagine yeah. if like he just grabbed him and just started beating the fuck out of him, and started like uh like we talked about with ribs, just started just breaking ribs first. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been yeah. attempted murder at that point. Yeah, true. He would have. He would have. He would have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Keep it to the ribs, Kane. Keep it to the ribs. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, it is. I mean, it is kind of like everybody. Um. Yeah, he MMA fighter looking smug and satisfied. He, he does look like he's like, hmm. Um, it is every like parents, um, you know, I won't say fantasy, but like in that situation, people always say that like, oh, if you do something to a kid, I'll fucking I kill you. I feel like it's it, it's it should just be legal, yeah. right? To to retaliate against that crime, that's yeah. terrible. I actually agree that I think we should put a medal around his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dog. For sure. Yeah. I would actually look into. Uh, do they have bail yet set for him? Because I bet you. I think I read earlier that at this point there isn't a bail set. There's not a bail set. Ah. I bet you he gets bailed out by like citizens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people <laughs> yeah. are gonna be like, "Yeah, I'll take care of that." Yeah. Yeah. Un unreal. Well, anyway, well, the hunter um, is he down guy. Yeah. Comes pretty hard after killing that deer. I know. He really does. Oh, I wanted to give a quick update on my Zimzer um, 
person that mm-hmm. we were going to ask, and yeah. they weren't there that weren't day. There, just yeah. so you know, I was like, asking about it. Well, I keep, I keep going there, and I don't know if they don't work there anymore. Or I may have lost my window of opportunity. I don't know that they're not work there anymore. I mean, it just happened to be the hour and day you were there. Gosh, I, I hope I haven't lost it. I, we were walking in. We were getting pumped. I was yeah, like, what it, are you I, my say? heart was was skipping a beat. <laughs> I was like, what were you going to say? Because you were going to be like, oh, hey, did you see the movie? What's your pronoun? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, was, so, I, wanted to, I wanted to ask. Hey, was, was I just, uh, uh, hey, what, uh, hey what's, your, what's your pronoun? What's your pronoun? Um, you want to see something cool? Oh, always. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I'm gonna make two videos. That's two videos in one day because I've been slacking. I've been slacking. I called the girls slackers. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm very sorry. You girls aren't slackers. I'm the slacking one. I ain't made a video in a while. How's people gonna know that I'm free and I'm single to have oh. a fucking Valentine if I ain't made a video in a while? So I had to make two videos to let you know that I'm <laughs> single, I'm free, and I'm an awesome person. Sounds and like I'm just out here doing my shit, trying to do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can do is the best I can. I, I can't, you know, I can't do any better than the best I can, right? So uh, everybody have a good day. And, uh, oh. Hopefully I'll see you soon. And, uh, you know, everybody uh, keep telling and spread some love around. The world needs some love. So if you got some love, yeah. spread it around. Spread some love around. Spread the wealth. Spread the love. Spread <laughs> the magic. Peace. I always like when they wish people a good day. Yeah. Very important work. I mean, it's an interesting, it's, I'll tell you, it's an interesting <laughs> video for a number of reasons. Number one, the choice to do it in the bathroom. Always. Right? Always a solid the choice. The choice to do it in the bathroom. <laughs> the choice to be shirtless. Another choice. And not a bad physique. No, I mean, he looks good. It looks like he's, he, he works out or is naturally in shape. He yeah. doesn't look bad at all. The choice to shoot the mirror as opposed to flipping the camera. <laughs> on oneself so that you get to see the hand holding the camera yeah. for the duration of the video yeah. interesting the choice to not wipe down the mirror you know <laughs> um, and then some of the the freedom he took with the camera work was yeah, interesting oh, to move the camera in and out was also really uh, I mean the message itself was letting people know I'm single which is important to that's good to know, know spread love um but uh you know i think i think he could get some bites i think he'll get, get some bites and also because he's like i'm an amazing person yeah and how do you let people know you're amazing by telling them you tell them i'm yeah. an amazing person yeah i'm dynamic dynamic yeah. char- charismatic i'm fit like yeah. usually you don't have to tell people you're amazing yes you do you got to be like i'm funny i'm great <laughs> i'm smart <laughs> That's how people go like, oh, that's what that guy's all but about. But I do think in, in the order of our cool guy club, mm-hmm. like he's he hasn't crossed the line here. No, he's very put together. And yes. you're right that some woman is like, oh, he fine, you know, yeah. cute. It'd and be then... interesting. Here's what I'd be interested to see. What comes next? That's oh, what I want to see. Where does this do go? What know? direction do we go in from here? Yeah. Do we remain shirtless? <laughs> Do we keep going to the bathroom to film? Does the message change at all? That's what I want to oh. see. How does this evolve? True, or true. Or devolve. True, you know? true. Because yes. we found too with cool guys, they like to stay on message. We generally don't digress. It's interesting that you say that, and I'll tell you why. Somebody is very consistent with their message. Mm. Gabriel, <laughs> hey my baby. How you doing, baby? Ugh. I'm all right. Yeah, I like them drawers, girl. You wearing consistent. Girl. Yeah, put it in my face. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, to the camera. Yeah. Always here. Yep. Always talking to somebody who's not hearing what he's saying, <laughs> and it's always the same message. Yeah. You don't believe me? I'm gonna make you come. We got Straight it. Up. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I just want you to put your pussy in my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very consistent. Yeah, that's true. He's always yeah, been Yeah, her that. pussy smells good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just like some homemade soup. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's going to help you out. <laughs> that homemade soup, that pussy. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard that before. No. But that pussy I, was like some homemade soup. I kind of like that analogy. I like yeah. it a lot. 
that it cures you. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. It makes you feel good. He really likes it, mm-hmm. which is alluring. I think if I could find one attractive thing about him, I do appreciate his enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. I like that he's into yeah. pussy. He's very into it. Yeah. This is when he got his new camera. You can tell. Yeah. Much better quality. Cool. Video. Well, yeah. thanks for sharing. I'm so yeah. happy to have an update. Well, you were saying you cool guys are consistent, and I was trying to back. So that up. consistent. Yeah. Yeah. They don't really deviate from the message. I don't Such know. a great. Um. <clears throat> so anyway, I I want to bring up. You know, this came out a while ago, so it's you know, uh, uh, but I got so many people sending me <laughs> the new Victoria's Secret model. Did you happen to catch that one? Yeah, I, I did catch it. Yeah. Now, here's my favorite. So, Sophia Giroux mm-hmm. becomes Victoria's Secret first model with Down syndrome. Quote, dream come true. So, not only is she Puerto Rican, which is they're, they're touting that she's, you know, um, she's Puerto Rican. Um, she's 24 years old, and she's also a model with Down, Down syndrome. She shared the exciting news on social media, joining the fashion brand for a new underwear lighting campaign. <laughs> One day I dreamed of it, I worked for it, and today it's a dream come true. I can finally tell you my big secret, Jarrell wrote in Victoria's Secret's first model with Down syndrome. Well, here's a couple of things that I'll tell you. I understand, like, I don't I think she's get, the first Down's model, right? For Victoria's Secret? Those bras Secret? are kind of not bright. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so... <laughs> So what I was saying yeah, go ahead. is that while I get that inclusion, I really do get it. It is important. It's very important. You understand that it's important more actually, I think, when you have children. Yeah. Because you realize that children see things and they go, Oh, I could do that because they see themselves represented there, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like our boys see it everywhere. So they like they never doubt that they can do anything. Right. Right? Because they're just like, Yeah, that guy looks like me. He does mm-hmm. every you know. So I get I get that it's important. The, pro- the Not the problem, it's not a problem, but the thing that jumps out at me is that inherently we sexualize lingerie models. That's right. the gig. The gig is you're so hot that everybody wants to fuck you. Or J their D to you. Or J their D to you. And like, and look, you're, you're a genetic freak. You're gifted, right? Like, yeah, that's your gift. Men and women. You see male underwear models, just, you look at them, they're like, who the fuck looks like this? They look perfect. Yeah perfect physiques and then you go i want to i want to suck on this guy's balls you know yeah um that's exactly what all women are thinking yeah. i want to suck his balls i want to suck his balls and <laughs> so dumb and lick the cum off his abs after he nuts you know okay it's so so weird but here's what i what i think you inherently sexualize the victoria's Secret model and now to be inclusive you've hired this girl and i you know you applaud her that that has Down syndrome as a Victoria's Secret model. And then I guess you're trying to tell me like, in this case, you shouldn't sexualize this one, right? Because if you do, that feels kind of wrong. Right, I see what you're saying. You're saying that Victoria's Secret is making you J or D to a girl with Down syndrome. And is that acceptable? And they're telling, is it acceptable? Is that cool? Or are they saying like, tell your boner to go down on this one. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like she's not worth being J. Well, it's to. not that she's not worth doing? it, but is it even right? To, is it ethical for you to J your D? Because right. I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this girl, and I'm thinking, can't nut. You know, <laughs> right? Like I, I just don't feel like I can. Well, that's the thing. Is uh, okay. It's, it's our great Jenny and um, what's his name debate, uh, Forrest Gump debate. Was Jenny taking advantage of Forrest yes. because of his diminished Capacities. mental capacity? Yeah. Same with her. Like. She looks good. And by the way, she looks great. Uh, yeah, let's she be, looks let's great. be Listen, honest. Yeah, she looks great. Look at this body. She's this girl beautiful. Too. But I'm saying like, she is of diminished capacity. Does she, how do we know she can make this type of decision to be sexualized? Like you're saying. It's, oh, you're it's like being take, sexualized. Yeah. It's an innocent That's what I'm person. saying. Yeah, she's an innocent. So, so like, it's like, is that really full, okay? Fully capable male, is it ethical for him to be like, I want to fuck this girl. Right. And, Which is the gig, and let's to be try honest. To. Well, and also like Victoria's Secret is trying to rebrand itself as like a pro-woman 
thing. Like, mm-hmm. remember, instead of models, they had accomplished angels? women. Oh, I thought they had angels. No, they. So that's how it used to be. It used to be like the hottest of the hot models yeah. were Victoria's Secret they angels, were so hot. and they were stunning, gorgeous. Yeah, just everybody models. wanted to yeah. be an angel growing yeah. up. Okay, and then it changed to women who are accomplished are now Victoria's Secret models, and those chicks have impressive brains, not impressive figures or faces okay, yeah, compared. This, this was like the Victoria's Secret That's the show. golden age. Yeah. yeah. This makes sense. This is a so, lingerie company. Yeah, and they walk out in this show and then they send you the catalog and you sit at home and you fucking... <laughs> yeah. You know? But even if not, like as a, as a teenage girl growing up, we would get the catalog of Victoria's Secret and you but just looked at the photos and admired don't them. Don't change that. Yeah. And you admired for their beauty as a young girl. I was like, oh, I'm not... Right. I'm not fucking with this model, but it's gorgeous. Right. Same Z, by the way, on an underwear model. Like Calvin Klein underwear. Yeah. Calvin Klein underwear models are the gold standard for male models. Correct. Right. In the 90s, so you and yeah. you see them and you're like, who the Wish fuck I looks was like that, this guy? But I'm not. Yeah. Now, you look at this girl and this girl right here, this this angel. I don't know who her name. This angel. She is an angel. She is an angel. An she angel. inherently knows. Oh, it's Devin Windsor. Yeah, she she's knows gorgeous. that every guy goes. I want to put my D all up in your pee. That's okay? the, that's the job. She that's the job, and she knows it. Yeah. She knows it's been her whole life. Yeah. And then she got into modeling, and it went up times ten. Yep. And now she's a Victoria's Secret wearing lingerie for a for a living, yep. and every guy's just like, "Let me violate every hole yeah, in your she body." Just put now, loads in her. Yeah, she gets it, and she is oh, like she can be like, "No thanks, sure." Like she. Uh, yep. And you don't feel like you like as a man. You having that thought doesn't feel wrong. It just feels like your biology taking over, right? right? You're like, that's an attractive woman. You know, yes, I'd like to see her naked. Yeah. Then you look at Sophia, is that her name? Yeah, yeah, Sophia, and you're like, she's an attractive woman. Oh, I just should just applaud her. Right, because we don't know that she's capable of, of saying, hey, I know what this job is. I know mm-hmm. what this funk, what my, what I'm doing here. Yeah, I don't. I think she's, she's and we're flaunt, too and naive. we're showing her, her like her breasts and, and probably her ass and some of, of the, course. Like, and, you, and she's going and like look at this body. Check out this this gorgeous body. And you're supposed to go like, <laughs> it, it is <laughs> yeah. a nice body. Uh, good for you. Yeah, that's the one model you're supposed to go. Good job. Instead of I want to J yeah. my D to you. Yeah. Um. What's really funny to me is they chose to go not only the Down syndrome way, but like, and she's Puerto Rican. Yeah. Like, we're multicultural. Yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? But you know what this reminds me of? This is how I feel about Euphoria, that teen show that yeah. I'm really into. It's like, I'm very, I'm very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Confused. Because the kids, they're, they're 17, 16 year olds, and they're so hot, and there's tons of dicks everywhere. And I'm like, I'm attracted to it, but then I'm like, oh, but they're supposed to be like teenagers. Yeah. But then the reality is they're like 25 year olds playing. So I'm like fucked up. So I'm, but it's not my fault. It's Euphoria's fault for yeah. casting 25 year olds who are playing teenagers. Look at the fucking cast of Euphoria. Show me the cast of Euphoria. Look at this boy. He's not fucking 17. Would you fuck him? No, I'm, I'm married, babe. I'm married. No, I'm asking you. Come on. I mean, if I were 20. If I were in my 20s, yeah. Not now. He doesn't want to see my fucking middle-aged mom body. I'd be too embarrassed. Male, ca- okay, look at that boy. Which one? Him, he's British. Which one's him? He's Nate. His character is Nate. Okay. And Oh, you would date him. I mean, look how gorgeous this kid is. Yeah. And they show his dong, and it's as big as an Avion bottle is what they say. Really? I mean, I don't know if it's really his. Oh. Big but as an like, Avion bottle? That's what that's what the whole bit is, and oh, in, in the Euphoria, show? they're like he he sends his dick pic to uh, to a character, nice. and then but anyway, I mean, do you get to see it go like erect and everything? Yeah, you just see the, like a dick shot of him with the Amy about, but it's like they want me to want, yeah, me like obviously, guys, who's watching this? Middle aged moms, not teenagers. Teenagers are too busy going. Be out honest, fucking. did you? Did you lick your lips when you watched it? Of course. He's yeah. gorgeous. And they show him in the shower all the time. And he's always fucking Cassie, who's like super hot. She's hot. You want to see hot? Okay, you want to feel conflicted? Yeah. Cassie Euphoria. This girl's body is like so beautiful and fucking perfect. She's got huge cans. And they show them all the time on the show. This chick? Look at her. But 
Google like Cassie Euphoria naked or something because there's naked shots of her on the show. She does like selfies nude. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh my God. I don't know how old she is in real life. Okay. But I mean, look at her big naturals. And those are naturals. This is the kind of shit they're showing on this teen show is what I'm saying. So like. And you're asking me if I'm conflicted? (laughs) Right. (laughs) This is her naked Sydney Sweeney. That's her body on the far right. See, here's She's a, stunning. She's here's perfect. What I, here's what I don't understand Wait, about Wait, but Tom, you. hold on. If she has Down syndrome, can you still feel this way? No. Right. No. But I also want to go back to something you said. What? I talked about the guy, and you're like, he doesn't want to see He doesn't want to see my middle-aged mom body. But I don't think that about her. You don't worry? Like, what if she looks at you and is like, oh, my God. I mean, that doesn't she bother does. you? I mean, if she does, but I also don't go, she doesn't want my middle-aged uh, dad bod. I you just... don't think about how you're affecting her? No. You're also the guy that, <laughs> you're also the guy that can hold in a shit. Yeah, I to mean. sex. I can't do that. Uh, yeah, I, I, like, if you go like, <laughs> hey, you know, what about her? I'd be like, yeah, I'll fucking slam it in her and just, you know, <laughs> she'll be lucky to get it. Yeah, I don't think that way. Yeah. I'm a little more self-conscious. Take her to fucking pound town. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that way. Cause I'm like, I'm, and I'll be like, I'm, you've been fucking some twenty year olds. Check this out, and then just do like, okay, but okay, go, but Google Nate spit naked in her face and euphoria, and see. look at look at so okay. Cassie bangs Nate. Okay, season two, spoiler alert, and uh, I know I'm supposed to say that before I reveal something. <laughs> Sorry, I learned that on where my mom's at. Okay, okay. like this guy's perfect. He's a football player. Yeah, He's like the captain body. of the football team or whatever, and. <laughs> There he is. I mean, he's like perfect. He so, looks great. And they bang all the time. And it's like, I can't have sex with him. This guy? Yeah. Dude, look at that guy's abs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wait, I'd I feel don't, bad. Why I'd, would you feel bad? I'd be like, you don't want to see this. Compared to that? But why Don't do that, though. What do you mean? You think I should just be like, come, yeah, you want this it. mom yeah. bod? Yeah. Come on, Jacob. Yeah, I guess you're, you're right. Been fucking girls your whole life. You become fucking <laughs> woman. <laughs> but now you gotta, mom. you gotta put, you gotta pull out. You can't be like, oh, whatever you want. Like you gotta put it on them. Well, that's the trade off. You, you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta that's put on the a tra- show. The older woman yes. trade off is that I really have to skills. Yeah, yeah. I gotta show him what twenty years uh, of, of skills looks like. Exactly. So what do I do when we're doing it? I mean, things me. you don't like to do. <laughs> <laughs> do. I put my finger in his bum bum? Of course. Here you go, mighty. You lick it first. Ugh. You have to. I, mean, I have to. If he looks like that, you're not going to fucking flex on him a little bit. No, and, like, I know. Go I know. the extra mile. You have to. I know. I have to. You got to like, you know, uh, but he's British. lick there, finger in there, lick around the world. Um, you got to like, you know, ride them, tell them like finish in my mouth, swallow it. Oh, you know, you got to do it all. Hmm. That, see, this is why I maybe that's I can't the do trade it. There's too much pressure, you know? Yeah. That's well, the what are you doing for Cassie? Oh, just being so vile. Like <laughs> <laughs> the most, I want her to walk away being like, that was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> you want to traumatize her well yeah and then i'll be her. like yeah you chose a 42 year old guy yeah what do you think was <laughs> yeah. gonna happen baby you think i'm fucking 19 like Duh, thanks for doing this no no no. that's true because you're right because you fuck that right way i'd be like <laughs> like yeah <laughs> jesus christ and she's like what's happening you're like i'll fucking show you what's happening. hair down <laughs> <laughs> that's true because 20 year old boys don't get down like that exactly exactly and that's the trade-off she goes yeah you don't have six pack you don't have any fucking abs i'll be like yeah but check this out (laughs) (laughs) that's true and you think nate would forgive my stretch marks and mom bod if i was just more of a pig is what you're saying absolutely yeah that's that's true because guys will bang uh, uglier like chicks if they put out wildly right like if they do crazy stuff of course yeah of course yeah, because sometimes the hot girls, from what I hear, don't put out as well. Fucking dead. Is that true? Fish. Dead Every fish? guy will tell you. Yeah. They they you know oh my god this girl's gonna you know go go to back with me to my room and then she's like, and especially like not not always but a lot of times the girls that I would describe as leading with sex like 
Yeah, you, you think know, they're they, gonna they be. They put this aura of like, I'm very sexual. Yeah. And then you get to the magic moment and you're like, this was boring. Really? They don't. I mean, do I don't know. They pro- it's been 20 fucking years for me. But, but hold on. Do they put out though? Like, do they let sometimes, you fuck them? But or? it's like a cold <sighs> lay. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's it's, it's funny because it'll be the most beautiful girl. Not always. I'm, I'm speaking in general, but will be more self conscious. And then you're like, "What are you doing?" Right? And then the girl who's yeah not perfect is like yeah. let loose, free. You know? Yeah, she got nothing to lose. Right? She's I mean, I don't know. You, you guys are active. Yeah, I've noticed. I've noticed what you're describing. Yeah, man. It's it's the if she's super hot, yeah, it's like she's never had to try, so she doesn't even know what the fuck to do in the first place. You know? There wow. you go. So, and that's who, by the way, don't compliment that that's bitch. That's who <laughs> Jacob. That's who Jacob is fucking. And Jacob is, and is the the actor. Oh that right. Euphoria right. actor is fucking that girl that he just described. Yeah, Cassie. who's like I'm perfect. I'm saying in real life. Yeah. And then she's just like. Well, that's yeah. why he needs to bang me, the middle-aged mom. I see what you're saying now. Now I'm on board with your yeah. logic. Sorry. <laughs> he needs a mom to fuck her. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true because I don't give a fuck about, like, I'm not worried about how I look. and Like, when, once I'm there, I'm saying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, it's different. We got to get this guy on the show. See what you guys. I would see. love to. <laughs> Huge fan of Euphoria, guys. Oh, boy. But do you know who I'm obsessed with? Actually, is the trans character Jules. Oh. Um, she she's a a boy who transitioned to a girl, and it's cool because they didn't do it so like heavy handed woke crap. It's mm-hmm. like it's, she's just a real person, and you get to learn about I her story. I could fucking fall for this one. Yeah, she's gorgeous, right? She's rad, and she's got a great personality, and um, I really like her. And she's in love with Zendaya, who's amazing too. It's a good show. You gotta get into it. It's super I dark. I could fucking fall for this. See, that's God how they damn it. That's how they lure in the forty year olds. Is that all these hot young people fucking and doing drugs? And they're I like, yeah, this is the nineties. This is great. Euphoria binge. Yeah, this weekend. It's so good. And they see right there. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I'd be like, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, she's really cool. Oh, you're <laughs> that's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, too. <laughs> 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 we have to cut so much out of this. <laughs> we have to cut so much out. What? I don't know. Okay. I think Ugh. so she's a model too in real life. Jules, really? Yeah. God. She's really cool. I'm really obsessed with Jules. I love how good some of the uh trans like people are looking post where you're like, oh, like I feel like sometimes you're like, I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. You're lucky, man, if you can get to the I have no idea. Yeah. Oh, she has the best outfits and the best looks, too. I love Jules. Yeah, they're having fun on this show, too. It's not like those squeaky clean teen shows where they just hold hands and yeah. bullshit. Like, these kids have fun. That's well, yeah, I you like. said there's dicks in the show, there's, and that's a really good sign. Well, episode three of season one, I think, yeah. there's 35 dicks. Really? Yeah, they counted... 35 dicks mm-hmm. in one episode? Well, because they talk about dick pics. And there's like a scene where they discuss dick pics and what's an acceptable Just dick Just send pic. me that episode. It's so good. That's all I want to see. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah. Oh Zendaya is such a good actor. Anyway, check it out. Try it out. I'm so obsessed with it. If you, you. want to see hot teenagers and feel guilty about how hot they are, what is going to happen to Victoria's oh. Secret? Like, what's the brand now? I, I can't even imagine. Like, first it was smart chicks. Boo! Nobody wants to see smart chicks. Oh, that's the worst. Is when they're like, "There's a, uh, there's a model who's also got a medical degree." Yeah, I, like, don't I don't care. Give a fuck. I don't care. Yeah. I fucking don't care. It's like I, what's her name? Blossom Mayam Mayambolic. Oh yeah, yeah. I I saw an interview with her and she's like, "I have a PhD." Yeah, she and went I was to Harvard gonna or teach something. physics, and yeah. then I got cast on the Big Bang Theory. It's like. But but here's what gets me is like people like that that have amazing things happen always go I didn't even want it to happen yeah like oh really but mm-hmm. hold on you didn't intentionally go out on the audition so you didn't make that happen you did you did want it to happen you auditioned for the show I love She's when- changing the way people think about nerds and geeks oh <laughs> fuck off who cares no, she's nobody not. cares you fucking dork I know. 
Did you see I just, this, by but the can way? I tell you, I just hate when people don't assume responsibility for their wants, needs, and desires. Like, just say it. I wanted to be on television again. I got lucky. I got cast in this thing. I know I don't have to teach physics. Yeah. I don't have to use my fucking brain. I can and play make believe. Yeah, I'm making millions of dollars on a stupid sitcom. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> that was your cum face right there. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> God, that was good. Okay. Uh, so weird. Uh, mm. Her boobies, do you think her her titties are real? I fucking hope so. She could those could be real because she's so Is that young. unethical? What? If you're a surgeon to to <clears throat> give somebody with Down syndrome big fake fakers? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, how how do we consent? How does she consent? Does she need to have her parents consent? I guess not. It's like <laughs> she's twenty four. She can do it if she wants to. Oh god, I don't get it. Feels weird. Nadav <clears throat> really wants us to move on. He keeps highlighting other topics yeah. that we should discuss. Yeah. Jesus. Look at these titties, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> titty, titty, titty. <laughs> All right. Um God. Check this out. This is kind of funny. All right. I brought in one of my good friends, very, very funny comedian. Thank you for coming by, man. Yeah, of course. You know, it's always cool to meet comedians and like, you recognize me? Yeah. <laughs> You're a good looking guy. You're successful. You get ha to have some success and like somebody knows it or whatever. And you're like, okay, I'm, you know, yeah, I, I did something well. Yeah. Well, we have actually a pretty natural classic uh, archetype comedy dynamic. Right. It's wacky guy, straight guy, basically, you know? Yeah. Cause you have like, you'll always kind of surprise me with like your references to like anything i'm like this dude has deep knowledge about things i don't expect dude i just have a big dick <laughs> <laughs> i identify with what you're saying a hundred percent i i feel the same mm -hmm. I, as you i feel like a lot of people be like no way <laughs> <laughs> i know it's very strange and i that's the thing is when you have a a like a small dick then you look at what an extreme version of it is and you're like that Crazy. seems pretty awful. It's really, really sad. That's why it's so great to meet lesbians. They don't care and they're not yeah. wowed by it. They're not influenced by it. They don't have any interest in it. Right. You know, well, you know what? This is a perfect time to segue. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> There's so It goes on and on. Um, let me give the proper credit here. Uploaded to YouTube at, at Joke World. Uh, that's who did that's it? Amazing. At Joke World. Um, and the world is W-R-L-D. He, he over... cut this for over like four minutes. I love it. And he really overlapped your reactions to like, mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. These, it always amazes me because the amount of time <laughs> it must take to yeah. do this. Right. This is like a real undertaking. Yeah. It's like those phony phone calls we get. Yeah. And you're like, how the fuck? It takes hours, huh? Oh my God. Speaking of phone calls, um, that thing that I showed you, remember that, that Sean recorded? Are you recorded? right? you going to throw up? Oh yeah. I'm not going to throw up. Um, <clears throat> But it was amazing. Um, I'm gonna. I have part of it recorded. We're gonna put it on a on a vlog soon, or upload it to to my Instagram. But it's um it's crazy. I got a phone call from a guy who, like in the mo I thought I never answered the phone. Went on a number and I just answered, and he was like, "What's up, Mo?" <laughs> and I was like, "This is not Mo." And he was like, "Come on, dude." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's not." And he goes, "Oh yeah, what are you calling yourself these?" Days? And we talked for like six, seven minutes. What? And he would not believe that I was not who he thought I was. Oh my gosh. And he was like, I just got out of jail. And I, he's like, I'm sorry for everything that I did before. It went on and on. And I was, and then I was like entertaining it. I was like, oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. He's like, there you are. See, I knew you. He's like, what are you getting into these days? And I, at the whole end of this conversation, I was like, yeah, I'm not the guy you think I am. He goes, what? He goes, you said you were. I go, after you kept saying that you like you didn't believe me. Because I kept denying that I was the guy he thought I was. You have it was this so recorded? I have, it, I have a lot of it recorded. Oh, yeah. I want to hear this. I'll play it for you. It was absolutely incredible that this guy <sighs> so fun. was so committed. You know, I miss prank calls. I, I used know. to be a really, that was a really good art form in my junior high. Jerky boys? High school. Yeah, it was an art form. They were great to do great prank calls. Mm -hmm. And I would have conversations with strangers all the time. 
Yeah, those guys were really funny. Yeah, I remember like um, Chat Roulette when that first came out too. Yeah, yeah. That devolved quickly into just dicks. Just dicks and guys just jerking off. <laughs> yeah, it's like perverts ruin everything. Yeah, Snapchat too. That's just dicks, right? Isn't yeah, that just a way to. I don't know. Get dicks on the internet. I don't know. Do Is kids it? Snapchat anymore? Uh, I'm not on Snapchat, but I think that's just how you send nudes to each other, yeah, right? Yeah, everything devolves into like yeah. Yeah. dicks. Yeah, yeah, it's just any nose. See, it's just dicks and tits. Dicks and tits. That's it. And then they go away. Yeah, and then they go. Well, I mean, you can save them, but yeah, yeah they go away. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah. yeah they, they, they got vanish see. mode in Instagram, but like, no one uses that shit. It's vanish Snapchat. mode. What's that? Yeah. Tell me how that works. Uh, vanish mode in Instagram. If you're in a DM, you can like if you swipe up and and hold it. It goes into vanish mode, and that's basically like Snapchat. So when you send something and then you get out of it, it'll unsend it. Ah. Mm -hmm. You can do that. But it, no one uses it, though. Every time you're in it, you're like, what the fuck is this? I didn't mean to get in here. So it's Snapchat. It's Snapchat. <laughs> He's like, I didn't mean to get in here. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, whoops. But now Whoopsie. that we're in here, maybe you should send something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. Prove it. <laughs> yeah. Prove it, bitch. Yeah. A lot of feedback on Prove It, just yeah. so you know, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, a lot of emails I've been reading that Prove It has been working for the guys out hey, there. Hey, way to go, Eddie. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm almost, I, I'm, I'm like almost mad every time I keep getting messages now. It's like, yeah, I know. I know it fucking works. Man, I'm going to fucking, uh, I started this shit. Nigga. Yeah. yeah, I know it works. I do this shit all day. <laughs> I've been testing my work. theory for years. Yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah. Prove It is a, it's, it's not even my method, but. <laughs> Like how upset he gets. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I perfected this. I love that. Uh, it's just yeah. like that surprise. Like, Very oh, man, proud wow, of you. Something you said works. Wow. What the fuck you mean? Of course it fucking works. Well, it's like it was it was supposed to be like, you know, can you give somebody it's like basically saying, give me a pickup line or like a riddle. And the, and they're just surprised that you gave them a two word instruction. Yeah. And they're like, it's oh a banger. Yeah. 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 So they're actually they're actually celebrating, you know. Yeah, they're celebrating. But Annie takes it person. He's like, "Yeah, I fucking told you." Yeah, that's why dummy. I told you that line, bitch. Yeah. yeah, I get it. He's like, "I fucking know how to do this." Yeah, yeah it's like it. to be offended, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. I, I I get it, dude. He's like, "I fucking told you guys this, stupid bitch." Yeah. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the next part. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're really on fire today. You know that. <laughs> I mean, listen, we could all be speaking Russian by next week. I'm just enjoying my last few moments of freedom. Yeah. Freedom. America. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Do you think in Ukraine right now they're like, <laughs> guys, we're going to have kindergartners sign an anti racism pledge? <laughs> we're asking them what their pronouns are in kindergarten. What do you prefer? <laughs> Here's what's important. Yeah. Yeah, or like women's rights too. That's my favorite. Women's yeah. rights? Well, no, like in America, we bitch about you no know, equality. I'm like, it's pretty good compared to the rest. Like, not perfect, yeah. but yeah. pretty fucking good. Guys, we're, we're getting there. It is pretty solid here. We're getting there. Yeah. Oh, man. We yeah. Fucking, I think we hit all our balls today. Well, let me tell you the one good thing about this stuff with poutine yeah. is that, and the one good thing about the Cold War growing up is that people were so against the Russians, the yeah. Americans that we really had a sense of what it meant to be free. And we yeah. guarded our freedom. And now I hope this hopefully re-energizes our belief in yeah. the American democracy. Democracy <clears throat> and freedom. Yep. Quit whining about shit, bitches. There you go. We don't want to go the Ruski route. Um, no fucking way, dude. No way. No knucklehead sandwiches. Quit yep. bothering me. Um, all right. Well, I think we should wrap up. Let's wrap um, it. We are both on the road, and we're touring, and we're doing stand up comedy and there's dates all over the nation gene where are you going to be well i am going out on a limited availability because i watch our baby jeans so you can't if you want to see me you got to come out yo april 1st and 2nd charlotte charlotte sorry north carolina the comedy zone um i do stateside the paramount theater here in austin tejas april 13th la one night only at the regent theater as part of the netflix is a joke comedy uh, festival yep. mini apple tits may 6th Dude, and 7th i'm so stoked bro the best club yo i'm stoked and then um irvine sperm vine california may 20th and 21st um atlantic city right that's in Ju junerzies what's that called the borgata <laughs> yeah june 4th june 5th boston massive huge tits at the wilbur hilarities in cleveland in august 
and then Gashville at Zany's in October. Christina P. Online.com for tickets. Get them now, homies. Right now, right now, right now, right, right now. now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I have announced a bunch of new dates. Um, they're on sale. Go to TomSquare.com slash tour and just take a look. It's, it's a big everywhere. ass tour. I'm going all over the place. Um, just check that site and we are constantly adding dates. So if you haven't, I get asked about certain cities. Believe me, it's coming. I'm, it's coming. I'm, gonna, it's coming and I'm come coming. And, and yes, thank you very much. Uh, please come see us do stand up. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and listening. Hope you had a good time today. Our closing song is by Caramel Elephant. It's called Any's Hot Saucy Ass. Oh. I love, I love hot sauce. Any knows what I'm talking about, right? Hot sauce is the best. Hot sauce is the best. What's crazy is I didn't even know that it was weird until I said it here. Hot sauce is the best. What about either like a mixed fruit bowl, salad, or sauteed, you know, hot sauce, beans. Oh boy. It's good. Fruits are good. Then I'll eat hot sauce. It is legitimately the best. Any, your dookie shoot is on its own schedule. How often are you sitting on a toilet and making a regular brown bowel movement? Possibly zero. You think a diet can have something to do with it as well? No, i never heard of that. What did you eat yesterday? Hot sauce. What was it dinner? Hot sauce. No one's saying he has a winning diet. I mean, I like all you Kataka. Yes. You Kataka. And their hot sauce is just fucking hot. Diarrhea out the ass. Do these all give you diarrhea? Yeah. Oh my god, is there blood in there? Yeah. It goes like this. Gross. <laughs> oh, I was having like a nice weekend. And then, and I hit flush. I love that feeling. But man, I fucking love the taste. Any? Do you love the taste? Any? I really hate this. <laughs> Hot sauce is the best. My mouth's watering. It is legitimately the best. <laughs> Bro. <laughs>Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats.